Happy Tuesday, everybody. I'm Kim Horcher, and on today's Fix, Blizzard's president is stepping down following recent controversy. New Xbox Game Pass games for August, and you'll never guess what color the new Xbox Series X controller is, unless you guessed blue. Cue those graphics! An announcement was posted on the official Blizzard website this morning that J. Allen Brack is stepping down from his role as company president. This news comes in the wake of the lawsuit filed against Activision Blizzard by the state of California over allegations of widespread discrimination, sexual harassment, and misconduct, which has since spurred more controversy. Brack will be replaced by co-leaders Jen O'Neill and Mike Yabara, both of whom are relatively new additions to company leadership. O'Neill previously headed Vicarious Visions before joining Blizzard in January, and Yabara came from a role at Xbox back in 2019. Considering the lawsuit cites complaints dating as far back as 2013, putting some newer additions to the company in charge might be an effort to offset the claims of Blizzard fostering a frat boy culture. In the lawsuit, Brack was accused of letting Alex off Raziabi off with a slap on the wrist following numerous reports of sexual misconduct. Brack and off Raziabi can both be seen in the recently resurfaced clip from a BlizzCon 2010 Q&A in which they laugh off a fan's question about overly sexualized female characters in World of Warcraft, which certainly isn't a good look in light of recent events. I love what you guys done with World of Warcraft. I love the fact that you have a lot of very strong female characters. However, I was wondering if we could have some that don't look like they've stepped out of Victoria's Secrets catalog. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. Which catalog would you like them to step out of? <laughs> Meanwhile, Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick and his executive leadership team have hired the law firm Wilmer Hale as a third-party auditor to review the company and ensure a healthier workplace. This move has been rejected by the ABK Workers Alliance, which is a coalition of workers from across several Activision Blizzard development studios in a letter provided to IGN. The letter outlines several reasons why they don't think the decision meaningfully addresses workers' demands following last week's high-profile employee walkout. This includes Wilmer Hale's conflicting interest due to its, quote, pre-existing relationships with Activision Blizzard and its executives, Wilmer Hale's history of, quote, discouraging workers' rights and collective action, and partner Stephanie Avakian's history of, quote, protecting the wealthy and powerful. We definitely haven't heard the last of Activision Blizzard's legal situation, so stay tuned as this story continues to develop. On a much lighter note, Microsoft has announced what's coming to Xbox Game Pass this month, on August 5th, Katamari Damachi Reroll, Dodgeball Academia, Luminous Remastered, and the Dead Cells update Curse of the Dead Gods all come to console, PC, and cloud by way of EA Play. Skate comes to console and Skate 3 will be playable on the cloud. Finally on the 5th, PC players can check out a preview of Starmancer. On August 12th, console, cloud, and PC users can check out Art of Rally, and a day later all those platforms can see what's so great about Hades, which is probably worth doing even if roguelites aren't your jam. IGN voted that our Game of the Year for 2020, and we weren't the only outlet to do so. I myself got obsessed with Hades for a solid three months if it somehow needs even more endorsement, which no, it really doesn't. On August 17th, PC players can relive some grade school computer lab boredom with Microsoft Solitaire Collection Premium Edition. <laughs> then on the 19th, the real-time narrative adventure 12 Minutes comes to console, PC, and cloud, which is bound to be a hit with speedrunners and also people who only have 15 minutes a day to play games. Finally, on the 25th, you can reunite with Raz and the long-awaited Psychonauts 2, which finally comes to consoles, PC, and cloud. And now for our third and final story, we've got a real banger. Microsoft has unveiled a brand new style for the Xbox Series X slash S, and would you look at that, it's blue. But not just any blue, it's actually Aqua Shift, special edition with a dual color swirl that Microsoft claims was inspired, quote, by the fantasy that gaming brings into our lives. Personally, I always thought of gaming as more of an opaque yellowish green, but they already made an Xbox controller that color, so okay. 
In addition to its whimsical shimmering aquatic tone, this new model will also be the first Xbox controller with rubber side grips. Which is great if your hands are extremely dry and calloused, or if you game while wearing elegant satin gloves and the controller goes flying because your hands are so silky smooth. Hey, I'm sure it's happened at least once. Or just once. Anyway, this new controller that looks like water shoes your mom bought you in 6th grade will be available August 31st and you can pre-order it now for $69.99 US dollars. And that is your daily fix for August 3rd, 2021. Which Game Pass game are you most excited for this month? What color and or texture should Microsoft give a controller next? There are no wrong answers, except sticky. Let us know in the comments, and as always, be sure to follow, subscribe to, and favorite IGN wherever you like to watch.